it's like 7 a.m. and I'm at the airport. I'm not actually getting an aeroplane. Um, I'm just at the airport trans going through it, whatever. Um, I've got to get a bus to Basel train station. Um, Cause I'm on a trip. Cause I'm going to go and find something. Well, the title's kind of given away, hasn't it? So let's not, let's not pretend I'm not going to go and look at a car. Um, the title of this video will either be buys cheapest car or goes to look at it and fucks up and has to come all the way back. So um, we'll see in about five hours, but let's go. <laughs> Six hours now and my face is just uh, um, so I've arrived in Lille and I'm waiting for a stranger to come and pick me up um, a French stranger uh, I won't film all of that mainly because it would just embarrass me being able to not speak French so I won't I won't film all of that but um, I'll let you know when I get there and what's going on but uh, for the moment I'll wait even though I'm dying for the toilet and um, yeah see when I get picked up I suppose You'll see in a minute. So I'm currently sitting in Burger King. I was getting back in three other cars. It's going to be an absolute It's just the rain and that was not particularly enjoyable for my shorts. So um, I'm going to eat some food, be less angry, and hopefully the guy will turn up in about an hour. I've moved places. So I'm now in the lobby of a hotel. Get coffee because I was freezing. Um, I've now been waiting for two hours. So I'm kind of getting a bit annoyed now. But I am about six hours from home, so it's not like I can just suck it off at this point. So a bit frustrated. So there it is. That's what we've been waiting for. As you can tell, I'm filling up my new car for the first time. As you can also tell, pretty dark. Um, that was that was an effort. That was that was long. Um, I got there at 1:45, and I left at like seven, half seven at night. So yeah, longer than it should have been. But I have it, and you can't really see what it is yet. So teaser. Um, I'll show you in a second. Uh, the clue will probably be either be in the description or you will know what it is anyway, but whatever. I figured that I need to fill up with fuel. It's six and a half hours back. Um, I actually feel fine at the moment. I haven't run, done really much all day apart from sit around waiting. Um, so I'm just going to see how I go, fill up with fuel, see how far I get. And uh, if I get tired, I might have to kip over somewhere and then carry on after that. Um, but yeah, it's the first fill up. Here we go. I'll... Uh, I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the car once it's filled up. Jesus Christ, this tank is big. Um, hopefully it lasts a bit. Maybe not. She's still going. Oh, good job. Not that big. You called it. There we go. It dirty as anything. But yeah, Range Rover Sport 2017. 3 litre TDI. Uh, yeah, there we go. HSE. That's the jobby. I'll give you a proper look round. Whoop. 
I'll give you a proper look round when I am back um, and home and all cleaned up because that is disgustingly dirty. But full black spec, um, black on black on black, um, which is what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a full rundown when I get home. So now I'm just going to crack on with the journey and try and make it uh, through the night. I'll see you guys on the flip side. So it is the next day. I got in about half past one in the morning. The drive wasn't actually too bad. Um, the rain held off. Um, and this morning I've given a quick clean, even though it's raining, but welcome you to my 2017 Range Rover Sport 3 litre TDI SV6, is that what they call it? So three litre V6 and diesel. Uh, and she's a beast. You only realize how big she is when um, you put her up against the Evoque, which is going to be back in a minute, actually. The, the reason I wanted this one is because it was the full black spec. So it's black on black. These wheels are incredibly hard to get on this spec. I know because I looked. Um, so I bought this was the cheapest one in the country. In fact, the cheapest one in all of Germany and France. But these are about a three grand option. You can see they have seen some better days. Um, so I'm going to get those booked in for a refurb. Uh, I'm not going to change them just because I think they suit the car really well, actually. I really like them. Uh, but they need some new, new tyres on the front. So I'm going to get some new tyres, refurb them all round, get them sorted. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's got the full black pack. Black pack. Um, so yeah, blacked out grill, blacked out um, everything, all black which is what i wanted again really hard to find um the reason it was the cheapest in the country and for its year so 2000 this is 2017 just pre-facelift they facelift in 2018 it's because it's got like moon miles on it it's got 100, 148 thousand kilometers in three years so that's an incredibly large amount of kilometers for the year but it's actually as you can see from the outside it's actually in really good condition so a couple of marks, you can see a tiny little bit there where someone's knocked it, but that's to be expected. It's door marks, uh, it's not bad. Uh, but in general, she's in very good condition. Um, and I'm very happy. I've given her a quick clean over, but as you can tell, it's not exactly worth it because it's gonna get absolutely weed on. But yeah, so it's got the spec of this one. It's got reverse cameras, um, electric boot. Uh, so it's got the uh, full, I like the fact that it's, the car's so big, you have to actually step up into it, so I mean, you know, step, it's got the full, the full pre-facelift interior, it comes with the memory seats, which is a real bonus actually, one of the things we miss in Philly's car, because we swap between me and her driving it quite often, is having memory seats, so this has got the full memory seats, panoramic roof, um, electric adjustable steering wheel. Um, what else do we have? We also have the same, we actually have memory seats on this side as well. Uh, heated seats front and back, like I said, rear parking camera. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of about it from the inside, but it's in pretty good nick. You can see again a little bit of wear on that outside bolster, as to be expected with a car that comes with uh, a few more miles. Um, why did I get this and not something else? I really like driving Philly's um, Evoque. Uh, it handles really well, I really like it. I appreciate this is a different chassis, uh, so it will handle differently. But I do really like the Evoque, uh, but it just isn't big enough. We've got three kids and as you've seen, we do things like paddle boarding, going to the mountains all the time um, and ski season coming up. And my S4, I would say rest in peace, but she's not. She's just in pieces in the garage and I will get round to that. Um, so that's next on my list now that I have my new daily. So yeah, I was actually looking for a car that I thought I would like to drive and I'm just not keen on a lot of the new cars that I looked at. Didn't fancy a Mercedes, didn't fancy a new BMW. I'm not keen on the latest Audis. So I kind of thought, well, I like the Evoque, it's a good car, but it's just not big enough, so what can we go for? And I was looking at the Villar, um, but again, I couldn't find one for the money I wanted to pay. And so this came up and was a fantastic option. So yeah, here we are. We have a 2017 Range Rover Sport 3 litre V6 diesel. 
and I've already got on the way some different modifications for it because obviously I can't leave it alone um, but I'll probably save those for another video um, I'll give you a full walk around again in another video as well but we will have some stuff coming soon I really if anyone knows where I can get these these little touches in in carbon um, I mean that would I think that would look pretty sick uh, yeah so just drop me drop me a message but yeah there we are it was an epic epic trip yesterday I ended up waiting around for about four and a half hours. It was a bit of a, miscommunic bit of a miscommunication when I arrived. I got there. They thought I was supposed to arrive more, uh, today, in fact. Obviously, I arrived yesterday. So after six hours on the train, I eventually got there. And um, the guy didn't realise I was there, so he wasn't, he wasn't ready. So then I had to wait for a few hours there at the train station in the cold. And it was freezing. Um, that's why I got my Burger King you saw earlier. Um, yeah, and eventually I got on the road about half seven um but yeah she didn't miss a beat on the way on the way down things she could do with as i said tires and i'm going to refurb the wheels um, and some brake pads at the front but i've checked already and these aren't expensive parts so fortunately it's not like my s4 where the pad discs and pads at the front were 500 quid um but yeah stay tuned for more to come on this one because i do have some plans in fact i'm putting some orders in already um and we'll get that all sorted and looking forward to see you on the next one let me know like comment subscribe all that stuff i'll see you later oh man yo i feel like the champion oh man yo i feel like the champion oh man yo i feel like the champion i make sure they know me now know me now know me now and i pray they never forget me and made it because they let me made a lane and i played the game i couldn't stay the same i had to change it get my change it before i lost my brain belly of the beast no peace think i need a breeze somebody pray for me because my sanity is out of reach going insane i see me taking over the game to tell us up in my brain